Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host. Me. Okay. Today is not a good day today. Um, before I even get started, let me thank Yolanda Adams for that beautiful song, uh, Fragile Heart. And so for those of y'all who don't know, have never heard of it, I suggest that you um, listen to it and see how it ministers to your soul. You know, a lot of times when you're very intuitive, you can feel um, death around you at certain um, times. And being that intuitive, that intuitive, I, I'm I'm always wondering who is it? Is it me? And I told you, um, one time I was just hell bent. On thinking it was my, um, I felt death all around me. And I went looking for my little adopted sister. And, um, I mean, I really stroked the streets looking for her. And the person that was helping me look for was the one that ended up dead. Such a hard pill to swallow. But I'm sitting here this morning with the tragedy of uh, my first cousin, who we were as kids so close because, as a lot of y'all know, I didn't have any sisters. Yeah. She has five sisters and had five sisters, actually. And, but we were. Or maybe uh, a year apart, exactly, 11 months, a year apart. And so we grew up every time we see each other, two sisters, two sisters' kids. We, we just love each other. And those of y'all who grew up like that, kind of know what I'm talking about. So out of all the sisters, she was my favorite. She was somebody that I'm going to miss. And I got tragic, um, tragic news. For those of y'all who know Kimberly Hubbard here in Milwaukee, who ran the chain of Bessie Kill Kitty Colleges here. others so much and I'm glad when I did say those words to I did have have a chance to say those words to her although I didn't see her after that because it was too much it was like three sisters died in three years just last year it was her sister Charlotte and the year before that it was her sister Daphne so uh, when Charlotte died last year, I could, they came a few, maybe a week. She came a week before Charlotte, her sister, passed, which was like this time last year. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen, so you always have the opportunity to just tell somebody you love them. And even though I made those amends with her because I was angry with her over some things that had happened in our family. She knew it because she said, me and you always work things out because we love each other. And she was right because she was the closest thing I had to a sister. And the only reason I'm sad, y'all, not because at this age, death ain't a part of life for me. I feel a little bad because I could have did better. 
and I don't want nobody on the other end sick and having these feelings that I have today. And because you tell somebody you love them, that'll mean you have to go to them. I mean, you forgive them or it doesn't mean that you have to try to be in their face every day. But you know in your heart that you had more to give than you could have. Nobody knows that but you and God. And I feel guilty because I believe I had a little bit more after I apologize, after we apologized to one another. We did make amends. We did get a chance to put the issues on the table. And I thank God for that. And I did get a chance to tell her that I loved her. And she told me the same thing. So we love each other. I don't want any of y'all under the sound of my voice that's having a problem with a family member. When, and don't get me wrong, I'm not in an emotional game like, hey, this person tried to kill me and I got to go back and apologize. No, that's not what I'm saying, you guys. I'm saying, whatever it is in your life, make sure that the energy flows with it. When I think about you or when you think about me, you don't know me personally, but your energy continues to flow, right? I don't stop what you do on a daily basis. and You don't stop what I do. Hell, you listen to me. You don't know me. And that's as it should be with people that you know. The energy continues to flow. There's nothing that stops it. Because when it does, that means there's a problem there. And we need to address it. I'm just glad that we got a chance to address it. Because we had some serious issues. And we didn't let money or business stop us at least from just telling one another. That we loved each other. I think that was very important. So if anybody is in that situation right now. It's okay. And. She's gone. With her sisters now. With my foster sisters. And those, those are the things. Her parents. Those are the things that bring me comfort. I don't know what happened. I don't know anything. I just found out. But I know she was a loving person. You know, nobody's perfect. She was a good person. She was a loving person. She was a cancer. And her name was Kimberly Elon Hubbard. And I want to just pay homage to you right now, sis. And to your family, to your two girls that you leave behind. And to your husband. May God wrap his arms around y'all right now in this time of need. And know that oh, I'm here for you. All right, family. With that being said, oh, well, I'll be back.